What's up guys and welcome back to What's In My Kit Wednesday. All right, so this week we got another charger. I've done uh, videos in the past with my LRP power supply, uh, my GT Power four-way charger, as well as my Hyperion 0606i charger. But this one is cheap and cheerful from Hobby King. And the reason I bought this is because I need one that does LIHV. So it's like basically a LiPo, but high voltage. So LI, lithium, HV, high voltage. Um, so that's what I needed. And this, like I said, was cheap. But a lot of these you can find really cheap if you have your own power supply. A lot of people make them out of computer power supplies and stuff like that. So whatever you need, just get 12 volts to this thing and you're golden. Um, but like I said, this one will do the high voltage batteries and that's what all my tiny whoop batteries are now is their 3.8 3 volt versus 3.7. So a bit higher, but they'll charge higher than that. Obviously just like all LiPos do, but they're all single cell and uh, I can charge them together on a board and I'll show you in a second. But this thing has lived in the bag, the box, the van, all over the place. It's been beaten up, uh, but it's it's sturdy and it just keeps coming back. So uh, it does have all the ports on the side. Again, we'll show you that closer in a minute. So you can charge uh, all the way up to 6S. Uh, you just plug your balance leads in here and away you go. But anyway, let's uh, this get this thing plugged in and I'll walk you through how it works. All right, so take the charger. Obviously, we've got the charge port. This is for the uh, high voltage tiny boot batteries or uh, the regular ones are here as well. So we're going to need to plug this into a power supply, which I've got right here, the LRP 20 amp. Here we go. Comes up 50 watt. All right, so right now it's on balance charge. We don't want to balance because these are 1S. So with 1S, there's no balancing because there's only one cell, so they can't balance it. So what we got to do is select LiPo charge. So LiPo charge there. All right, hit enter. Battery program LiPo. No, we're actually using LIHV instead of LIPO. So let's find LIHV, nickel metal, LIHV. So hit start there we go that had been handy earlier uh hit start again all right so how many amps you want to charge at so for charging these these are at 255 milliamp hours so we've got six of them which equals 1530 milliamp hours i believe so using that one amp per thousand milliwatts or milliamps uh, hours we just divide that 1530 by a thousand and we get 1.53 or 1.5. So we can charge this at 1.5. We can go up a little bit or down a little bit, uh, depending on you know how much you know about the battery. Some people charge them a lot more, but we're gonna stay safe and say, call it 1.5. It'll take a little while to charge, but that's fine. So we'll go ahead and we'll plug in all of our batteries here. We're basically charging this board here as one, one S or one cell battery. 1530 milliamp hours. So again, 1.5, so we'll adjust this from two down to 1.5, hit enter. And then how many cell is it? Remember one, because each one of these are one cell. So it'll stay one cell, 3.8, because it's one S and it's high voltage. So high voltage batteries are 3.8, whereas normal is 3.7. So we're ready to start. So hit it again, there we go, hold it. It checks it and says confirm. Yes, I do want to charge at 1S. And a warning, this is for high voltage batteries only. So this is your last chance to say, oh, these aren't high voltage, but these are. So we go ahead and hit enter, and then it's charging. So um, we'll let this thing charge, and then when it runs out, we'll uh, take a look. All right, so now it's done. It says end, uh, finish. So just hit start, say, yep, we're all done. And then you can unplug. So it tells you how long it took, 15 minutes, 32 seconds to charge those. And it took 170 milliamps and they're at 4.35 now. So always, always, always make sure that you take these batteries out before you unplug this. Because if you unplug this right now, all the power from the batteries here are gonna be running through there. So if they touch each other or anything else, it's gonna you know, give you a little short. So make sure, because that's bad, <laughs> all right? So don't let those touch. So we're gonna go ahead and unplug these. And these will be ready for 
tiny whooping so they can go fly we can go fly with those now you can unplug this now not a problem stop that and you're back to your normal charge and uh, ready to go so yeah this is a Turnigy AccuCell 6 great job it does all the way up to 6 like I said 6s and I think let's see what it'll what it charges up to All right, stop there let's see So six amp is what it'll charge at. All right, so overall, I definitely highly recommend this. Uh, this little charger does a great job. Uh, and it's small and it just fits in the, you know, toolboxes and some small bags and all that stuff. And it does high voltage. So I can use it for my tiny whoops, which is exactly why I bought it. It does exactly that. But if I need to charge like the battery for my fat sharks or something like that, I've got balance uh, plugs here that I can use to balance the battery charge as well. So good all around battery charger. You just have to have a power supply or put some uh, alligator clips on this and you can use a car battery. I've done that in the past as well. If you've got any questions or comments, please post below. And as always, if we don't see you on the track, we'll see you on the trail. Later.